what's going on guys welcome to another video so this is basically our first ever google app script episode so of course this uh is basically a very quick run through of what google app script is so basically it's just a scripting uh, feature that we have in google workspace besides uh app sheet and it can actually do many things and one of it is actually send you an email notification so for today's demonstration i'll share with you guys on how to do it uh, in google apps script using uh, a very i would say straightforward scripting but not to worry we are i will guide you through on how to do it and it should be easy hopefully so without further ado Let's check it out. All right, guys, to start off our app script journey, first things first, let's head on to Google Drive. And from Google Drive, what you want to do is you want to sign in. And once you're signed in, create a new spreadsheet. So as you can see, I have created mine here. So columns I have right now is name, email h phone number and check so basically this is the demo for today so what i want to do is whenever i fill up the name email age and phone number it will automatically send me an email notification stating there's a new data input and the reason why i have check column here is to demarcate or indicate that the email for this particular row has been sent all right so once you have that ready then head on to extensions here then you will see app script as one of the extensions uh, uh, alongside with app sheet so we'll go on to this eventually but let's start off with app sheet uh, app script sorry oh, i'm so used to app sheet so now app script so once you're there this is the script that i've created so don't worry i have provided you a link or uh, to for this uh script the way you can actually copy and give this a try as well but then again uh, while we're at it i'll just explain to you a bit so the function is called send email notification so it's using the active spreadsheet which is the one that we have created which is this one script one then of course we have set some variables and i've added or i left some comments here so that you understand the reason of all the settings so basically we have the variables for the name column email age phone number so the variable for email send is for row number four uh, column number four which is uh, zero one two three four so this is where the the, the marking or tagging of the email send will be done so of course here we have the the if check so again uh, the comment i left here is to check whether the phone number is filled and the email has not been sent so of course once the phone number is being filled and there's no tagging to say that email has been sent then it will send an email to a fixed recipient for this tutorial of course uh, i forgot to mention this script it will be sent to uh my email but please guys don't forget to change this email to your email else it'll be sent to me um perhaps let me just change this yeah your email oh no never mind all right for this tutorial all right so of course then you can see the subject for the email which is new entry notification the custom message that I've set here is basically the body of the email. So you can change this to anything that you like. But again, for me, 
I want it to take some of the um, values from the columns, which is name, email, age, phone number. Then it will send. So the next step is to create a trigger. So here you will find triggers. So go on to triggers. Uh, of course, I have mine here ready. But let me run you through again how to set one trigger. So you'll find add trigger on the bottom right section of the page. So click on that. If you can't find it, then it could be uh, if it's, this is not your first, if it's, this is your first time to for to create a trigger, I think it will show on the top left somewhere. But just look for add trigger button. Then it will ask you to choose which function to run. Uh, since I only have one function in the script, or one script, which is send email notification. Then choose which deployment should run. Uh, just leave it to hit for now. Select event source. There's a few, but of course we are using spreadsheet. Now, the most important part is to select event type. Uh, by default, it's on open, but the trigger that I use is on change. So you may want to use on change instead. So make sure it's on change and click on save. And of course, failure notification settings is up to you. For me, I'll send, set it as notify me daily in case if, if there's any error on the script. So, <clears throat> so once we have that ready, that's all to it. Now let's try. And of course, you can deploy a new deployment and you can set it as a web app and whatsoever. But we'll cover that soon. But now, let's put our input here. Let's say Aris. Aris at test or test.com. H is 32. That's my H, by the way. So it's plus six zero. Okay, the moment I release this, it will complete the whole cycle. And once, once it's done, as such, the script will identify this as a complete uh, input. And there's no demarcation this has been sent, the email has been sent. So let's see if I release this. There you go. You will see the send. Uh, maybe let me just increase this a bit. You will see send here means the email has been sent to me. So if I check on the email, you will see a new entry notification here. And there you go. Hello admin. Aris has added his or her detail as follows. So this is the body of the email. Sorry, this is the body of the email. And new entry notification is the subject. Now, this is uh, the first part. So what if we have an app sheet running on the same data structure? So let's give this a try. If I go to extension, app sheet, create an app. And it is actually another shortcut for you to create an app from Excel or uh, spreadsheet, sorry. So my app is ready. So of course we can see the initial one that we did. Let me just change my phone number to text. Oh, okay, it's ready. Yes. All right, so let's add a new one. Let's say we put Steve. Steve at test.com H is 40 uh, we'll, we'll remove this later on, it's fine So once I click save There you go And here immediately you'll see the check which is send email has been uh, tagged for Steve as well 
So now let's see whether we have the email in. There you go. Steve has added his or her detail as follows. So of course, this is one of million use cases that you can do with Google Apps Script. It's fast, it's reliable, it's powerful. So we'll jump on to other scripts in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't worry, the script that I provided, uh, that I've shown you in the video, I provided a link so that you can copy the script and you can try it today or whenever you can. And please do let me know what else you like to see or what scripts that you want so that I can make one for you and perhaps share with others and hopefully we all can benefit from it. So guys, I'll, until the next one, I'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye.